obviously big problems now for uh, for Eddie Earn, do you know what I mean? So he's gonna have to I think he's gonna have to give Sky the elbow, I think. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean I did hear t- I did hear when you had a chat with Tell when he was saying that Sky should have got rid of him and uh, and whatnot, but I don't think it was as as easy as that, do you know what I mean? Because when you got Joshua tied up Obviously, he's tied up with Matt Schumann, he's tied up with Sky. I don't think it's as easy, and they've got an exclusive deal, so I don't think it's as easy as just saying, just whipping up the contract just like that. Yeah. I mean, uh, what, I mean, what do you think? What do you think they're gonna do? Because they're not gonna, they're not gonna wanna, um, they're not gonna wanna. Does I'm gonna come over here for the UK Joshua fight to start paying his purses? what he gets over here for pay-per-view and they're charging like what even a tenner a month well this is what I this is, well this is what I think to it right whatever these wankers say because that's what they are wankers whatever they say I always go the opposite now when Billy Joe Saunders said he was stopping with Frank and all that I put a video out saying he were leaving didn't I <laughs> I always go the opposite way now I don't think Dazone will come to the UK. I think Eddie Earns edging his bets for a better deal with Sky. You reckon, yeah? Yeah, that's what I reckon, yeah. Uh, Eddie Earns going to want American TV and UK TV, am I right? Yeah, that's true. So if he's got Dazone in UK, right, and no Sky, where's his American TV? I don't. A year deal to start with, innit? Yeah, so well. 2021, yeah? Yeah, and his Sky deal's up, that is Sky deal's up in uh, September next year, is it? Or not, or is it when the season finishes next summer? I think so. Maybe so. That'd be, all, that'd be July, August time, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, so if he's got 15 months left at Sky and he's got 15 months left at Dazone. He's got some thinking to do, hasn't he? But if you're going to be a boxing promoter, right, you're going to want TV on both sides. You're going to want TV on both sides of the uh, Atlantic, aren't you? This is how I look at it. He's been disrespectful to Sky if they're playing them, but you don't know. They all could be in on it. They all could be playing the zone to get the big bucks. Look, there's one thing Eddie Earns turned on by, and that's money. Right? So if he's after money, he's going to play everybody off against everybody. He's going to lie, cheat, and steal, and do his best to play the game. And that's what promoters do. They just play the game. Shit bags, lots of them, mate. Shit bags. Yeah. Shit bags. I mean, I mean, I, listen, I, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't rule out match them even just developing an app and start putting on fights themselves and just attempting to put on a pay per view themselves. Yeah. Uh, they have design in the background. Have design going to come out, come over here, and just and just. Design in the background, finance it, and just put up guaranteed purse, purses for Joshua. Flood social media with advertising for the fight. Make it easy to order the fight, and just put the put the fight on themselves. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised. You UFC have already got. They, they've already got fight pass. I know they do all their pay per views with ESPN and whatnot, but like this is this is ESPN over. This is ESPN over in America. It, it's. It's a mainstream sort of channel, isn't it? Sky's not. And 
know, they, 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 everyone keeps saying, well, streaming's the future. Yeah. Well, streaming streaming is, the, is going that way, so why wouldn't they just try and put on the pay-per-view, a, a pay-per-view themselves, a lot more money in probably Joshua's pocket, a lot more money in their pocket, and then probably someone financing it in the background, because they're not going to finance it themselves, are they? Do you know what I mean? They don't right. take risks like that, do they, Russ? Now, listen, right, when do Matchroom take risks? They never take risks. Right, they've got the EIS, they give them the fighters from the Olympics, am I right? Correct. Sky and Dazone give them the platform, am I right? Correct. And then you've got all the commercial to deal with, right? So, WASA Management Group, is it? So, where, where are they putting any effort into any fighters? How many world champions have Matchroom had since 1986, December? that have not been from the the Olympic squads, the GB squads. There's only her behind it, they're from debut. Yeah. That's it. So they've had one world champion from debut, and he was fucking Nigerian. Yeah. They don't invest in fighters. Eh? Hey? They, they, yeah, they don't back, yeah, they don't put money into fighters, do they? They don't even fucking win purse bids. <laughs> Can somebody tell me 10 purse bids they won? Because it's not possible they haven't won 10. If anybody's on here who's a matchroom gimp from Gimpville Island, send me an email to porkycorner at mail.com telling me 10 fucking purse bids that they've won in title fights. Fucking none. It's about seven, isn't it? Or eight? But yeah, they don't, win. They don't normally win purse bids today. No, what about Dillian White? Again, they've got that much faith in Dillian White against Poole left. They didn't win purse bid for that, did they? No, they didn't win the purse bid for that. So they don't they invest win. in fighters at all. They don't invest. They don't invest in them. All they do is take. They take, 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 and when boxing dries up, they'll be fucking gone. His old man bailed out after Collins, Steve Collins, lost twice. To uh, so not Steve Collins. Eubank lost twice to Steve Collins, didn't he? At nineties. What did Barry Ern do then? He fucking bailed out. He ran for Hills, didn't he? Yeah, they'd they, they, they be, they be off. I mean, we'll see. He's forty now. He, he, he won't be around when he's fifteen, ten years time. Not the work he's doing. No, no, no. It's. I can't, I can't, I can't say that they even want to come to UK after what's gone on in the last few weeks. They've spunked a lot of money, haven't they, the zone? They might not be keen. I'm telling you now, mate, Eddie Earn will have took he'll have had millions out of the zone so far and he's just gonna keep milking it and milking it until there's no milk left in the fridge. And when it's all gone, they'll move on they'll, he'll just go back to being on sky if there's no the zone. Because no the zone can't keep this up forever. Billy Joe Saunders must have thought he'd hit jackpot when he got with Eddie Hearn.
Yeah, he'll have had half a million for that net. Yeah, and the rest of it, yeah, probably net, yeah, probably easy there against an opponent that he should be having no problems with. That guy was English stroke British level. Yeah. Yeah, but he not European level, was he? No, no, he wasn't European oh. level. Ma Ma Martin Murray had adjusted him. And he and he's English level now. So it's 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 interesting to see how it plays out. Yeah, it will, mate. It will. It will. Uh, I mean, what? It's got out. Just what what what? Is, if Eddie Hearn sets the score out, there's a there's a gap there in the market. There's a gap there for a couple of ambitious promoters to jump in. Cause People are going to be jumping ship left or right centre in the oh. especially, especially with, with match from not having these fighters. They don't really sign fighters to contracts, do they? No. A lot of them are fight by fight deals, so. Yeah, mate. That's what Frotch had. He never had a deal. No. I mean, they, they got. They, listen, at the end of the day, in the background, some of these Saturday night shots, Saturday night fight nights, they're, they're just more than. It's more damn crap, isn't it, Matt Russ? I mean, I've touched on it before in a conversation with you, but yeah. they're, they're, they're shocking. Well, listen, yeah. this is how I look at it, right? 2012, right? Frotch Booty, Saturday night, non pay per view. Forward eight year, Terry Harper versus Natasha Jonas, non pay per view Saturday night. So, you tell me. So, is that watered down? And why is that? Why is that? Because they can't fill the dates. You can't have 60 dates a year. It's more than one a week. You can't do boxing like that. 20 dates is too much. Well, they want to have everything, don't they? But what, what, what people need to understand is this. Boxing moves in cycles, right? It moves in cycles. And as the bubble burst for Matchroom, we don't know. But I can assure you this. If it has burst... There'll be no love for him, Eddie And If he wants to work with other people and be friends with everybody, there might not be no love for him, I don't think. There won't be from me, anyway. But then again, a lot of promoters are whores! Yeah. They slag people off one minute, the next minute they're best mates, so I don't know, but there'll be no love, lost. There'll be no love from me for him. So nobody can dispute he's an hard worker, Eddie Earn, but like I said, they're trying to monopolise everything, aren't they? Uh, I mean, it's it's going to be interesting to uh, it's interesting to see what was uh, what was going to happen. But, moving on, moving on, then, Matt. What what uh, what else are we going to talk about? What we got here? Gillian White. What do you think? Well, yeah. What what what. what what do you think? Do you think this Dylan White fight is going to go ahead now? What do you think of this? Uh... Well, if you look on my channel, you'll see two weeks ago I put a video out saying that Eddie Earn, knowing Eddie Earn, and knowing a couple of people that I spoke to, they had a couple of whispers. He was trying to get York Hall free dates at York Hall closed, right, where nobody can watch it, and only people who can go in there, and media, and people to take photographs and the box the fighters teams that's it and your call's big enough in it to do that so yeah. and you were going to put he wanted joshua pool at your call dylan white against pavetkin two ped cheats and derek chisora with nine losses against usek uh who has had one fighter anyway and let's have it right out of them three fights that's six fighters there's only joshua Born in England. We wanted it on pay per view. And they were going to charge extortionate prices. What, so they were going to have the pay per view? Yeah. Right, to try and compensate what the fighters weren't going to get the gate. Is yeah. That, is that what? And also, you've got to look at it like this they don't have to pay for Tottenham Hotspur ground or two nights at the O2, do they? That's true. And that comes to 1.6 million. Now your call for three nights is 10,000 pound. Tottenham Hotspur ground and the O2 for that for three nights for them three is 1.5 million. So do the maths. 
So he's saving 1.49 million. You're saving 10 grand less than 1.5 million. So Eddie Hearn will have had all his numbers out. We could charge this. It's all possibilities and, and it, it's a lot of talk, but that's what got put to Sky, what we heard. So, and it's probably a good idea. Because that's their numbers, men, aren't they? They try and make it work. And you've already heard him yesterday on IFL, aren't you, saying, yeah, people are going to be begging. He's trying to put it in people's heads. They're going to be begging for live sport. No, he's fucking begging for live sport. Nobody else is. We just want the country to be safe, don't we? Yeah, that's the main thing at the minute. That's the main thing. He's not thinking about anything else, is he? Like, let's be honest. No, he's thinking yeah. about lining his pockets, isn't he? That's all he's thinking about. He's obsessed by money. I mean, sooner or later, they're going to have to put one of these pay-per-view shows on in a studio, though, or, or something similar. Because well, if, there's, if, if that's the only way to put on boxing, I mean, right... Listen, Jazor ain't getting it. I don't know, mate. Well, well, I don't. If we're going to be finding out, isn't they? Because if they, if they can put something on, they put something on. You, you already see with the UFC, they're trying to put on this uh, April 8th card somewhere in America, and they're having all sorts of problems. So I can't see nothing happening until June. And um, I, don't, I don't know, but does it. I mean, now with this, what, what are they saying? This. Uh, Fury world that they're not taking no chance with that they put it on over the third. That's correct, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, October third, yeah, last. Who time. wants to see that though? Well, no, no, no. But it, it's in the contract, isn't it? So I mean, you are mate. Contract, so. Oh yeah, I know it's in contract, but who wants to see it? No, there's not gonna, there's not gonna be demand. I think, I think it, I think the, uh, I don't, know, I think they lose money on it again. I don't think it'd be a success. Yeah. Over in America, so I think it might, it might, it might make enough money. Here. It might make a bit of money here again. But they just pull out all the stops. It'd be a circus like promotion. But with that fight getting scheduled back now, I mean, um, what, what does, what, what does Dylan White do? What does he have? He's perfect in fight and then just. Just fight someone just to take over and then just wait for the man, the WBC to call the mandatory. What does he do? Dillian White. <laughs> Dillian White's not fought for a European title yet. All he's doing is fighting old men, forty odd year old. Yeah, true. Dillian White's. I, I'm off at Dillian White hype train. I want on it, but I'm off it now for the simple reason that Dillian White, in my opinion, is not fighting anybody. I'm, so I'm off the Dillian White hype train. I'm off it, mate. At the moment, I'm. Uh, I'm off. To, I just can't get behind Dillian White no more, mate. I can't. I can't get behind it. I might. I might end up following rugby again. No. You know, I was looking at that Kelly Advenesia fight was meant to be on the weekend, just gone. I was really, I was just really looking forward to that, just seeing, just seeing what, uh, that, was, that fight I was playing out. Uh, and it was a good Saturday night fight, and like, it's, it, I've given, to give him credit where it's due, it was a good fight, but, you know, what, what are they going to do with that fight, man? They're going to have to step that on them. So, like, and the Lucy Chisora called or something like that, you know, it's something, this is what I think about Josh Kelly, David and Ecian. Josh Kelly gets iced. I think that other kid's more more uh, 
seasoned than him. I don't think he's seasoned to be going in with a kid like that. So my money is going to be on even Eshan. Even though Richard Towers uh, is a big fan of Josh Kelly and he thinks Josh Kelly wins. I just think that he's not seasoned enough to mess about with uh, David Evanesian. No, well, David Evanesian has been in with top fighters, hasn't he? But he's been a world champion, he's been in with Shane Mosley, hasn't he? He's been in with Shane Mosley, he's been in with Peterson. He's a guy who fought with elite fighters, Russ. And who's Josh Kelly for? He won't even fight fucking uh, Connor Ben. There you go. So, so Josh. Oh, Josh Kelly even Yeah. Yeah, it might be a chief support that pay per view with the way things are going. Listen, mate. They might not be no boxing rest of the year, mate. At this rate. It's possible. Yeah. It's really, really possible, so we're gonna see, Which aren't we? Are the odd man out here seems to be Callum Smith. Where does he go, Russ? Right now. Callum where, Smith. Where, where well, does Callum Smith go? Where, 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 should, where does he go? Or where should he where should he go and where does he go? Well does he care we eight million quid in bank? And he and uh, who, who has Callum Smith beat? Who was, he, who was Callum Smith's top five wins? Uh, I've got nothing else to add, to be honest with you. You'd have to put Fielding in there top five, wouldn't you? Eh? Hey? You'd have to put Fielding in there top five. Well, he's 27 and 0, Callum Smith, right? He's 29 years of age. Right, and his best win is who? George Groves held together by sellotape. Right, Callum, Callum Smith's Ring Magazine, WBA, he's got British, Commonwealth, European as well, so he's gone for all levels, 70% KO ratio. He's number one in, in the world in his weight division, but he's got there from being carefully matched by Tesco Joe. Yeah. And if you've got a fucking problem with that, Joe, you had your fucking chance last time I seen you at Peter Fury to say something. You're no good cunt. But, uh, But, like like I said, I saw it if you were at Peter Fury's gym when I did a camp there. He never said fuck all to me. He put his head down like the rest of them. But let me tell you, because see, if you tell the truth, right... Every time he ever goes to anybody's gym, all he wants to talk about are how great his fighters are. Right? That's all he wants to fucking talk about, mate. How great his fighters are. It's only fucking believable. Fuck him, I don't like him. Fuck him. He's made two million out of boxing. For what? Who's Joe Gallagher's best five wins as a trainer? Do you know why Ring Magazine gave him trainer at year? Joe Gallagher. I'll tell you why they give him fucking trainer at year. Because every time he went over to Freddie Roach's, he was sat on everybody's knee. He knew all voting committee for fucking Ring Magazine. He were up all their asses. He kept forcing issue all the time. He kept running round. He were running round like an headless chicken. I heard saying, "I'm 49 and 0. I'm 49 and 0. I'm the I'm the trainer version of Marciano." That's a fucking true story, mate. That's what he were doing. He were promoting himself. Now let's get back to fucking Krusty Neck. Right, Callum Smith. Here's Callum Smith's record. Right. I'm going through it here. That his best win going back five years, Rocky Fielding, right? Who'd beat nobody, and it, all he had on, all he had to his name were a British title at the time. He won a British. You go, you go by Rocky Fielding. You've got Mahoudi Maddy, fucking Reynosa, seven defeats, Nemi Sapati, three defeats, Blackledge, 
Skoglund, that were life and death with Skoglund. Holtzkin, he couldn't even get near him, a kickboxer. George Groves, who they made fight. They made George Groves fight him and his fucking, uh, his arm were fucked. Right, and I wanted George Rose to win that fight. Hassan and Dam fucking hell wheeled him out in a wheelchair and John Ryder knocked fuck out of him. See how I sprung to life once she started me with Tesco. <laughs> oh, I mean, look. He needs it. Listen, we, we, he needs a big fight now. He needs a, he needs a big fight. I mean, look, listen, Danny Jacobs is a super middleweight now. Yeah. Just make that fight. Make that fight, Russ. Eddie's got him in his stable. Go over to America. Put it in New York somewhere. Make it that fight. That's the fight to be made, isn't it? You know? Yeah. Listen, if he could beat Jacobs, that's, that's, that's a good win. That's not a bad win. There's more to Callum Smith's not even gone by third gear yet and he's got six gears in his in, in this in this M4 BM he's driving, right? He's smoking about in an M4 BM and he's in third gear. He's just cruised to 27 and 0. He's cruised there, mate. And a 19 by knockout. So he's not a fucking ice man, is he? People kept talking about him like you're an ice man. Eduardo said he could go through the levels. Up to heavyweight because he's six foot four and all that. Listen, he is not a fucking ice man. He's not been tested yet and he's already gone the distance with eight people. So I'm not bite. I'm not on the Callum Smith hype train. It's a load of bollocks. He's getting a load of hype because he's a Smith. Yeah, 